All right, here's the first video of the build. So what I'm going to show you guys is how I installed the window AC on the inside of my cargo trailer conversion. Uh, this is a 5 by 10 foot trailer, and I was kind of limited on what kind of space I had on the inside and where I was going to put the AC. Um, I decided to go with a window unit just to, just to save cost, and there was pretty much a lot of dead space inside the V of the trailer itself. Um, so I thought it would be a good spot to put the actual AC. So what I've got here, I've got an intake and an exhaust. So both of these are 4 inch inspection hatches I got off of Amazon that can close off whenever they are, when, when the trailer is in transit. So inside there, got a screen mesh for right now just to kind of help keep bugs out of it or keep anything from flying in. All right, so here's what we got going on on the interior. It looks kind of goofy right now, uh, but how the AC itself is actually set up, the fan that actually goes over the coils and exhausts all the hot air out the back of the unit only goes to about right there, because right there is the compressor itself. So when I was designing the exhaust for this, I basically went straight down the side, which you can kind of see right there, to kind of let the exhaust go out one side and then take air in from the other side. So on the back side of this, I put insulation. It's all the way around. I sealed every gap back there. And then whenever the AC sits up here, it actually goes flush up against the wall. So that the fan is going to be pushing all the air out there. And then when this is all finished, all the air that's going to be drawn out and around the unit and goes around the coils and exhaust out the back can come straight from there and go straight out the back. All right, so here's the outside whenever everything is running. So right now there is a lot of hot air coming out of there. Put that there just to kind of show you guys. Same thing on the other side. It's just kind of stuck in place from it sucking in. And as of right now we are reading 109 degrees coming out the front of that. And about 72, which is about the ambient temperature going into it. Now going on to the inside, sounds a little noisy right now, but I just turned it on and it'll usually even itself out in a couple minutes. So the air coming out of there is actually pretty cold right now. And when this is finished, when the face plate is on top of that, it'll create a seal using some insulation tape and some actual uh, insulation board like we have right there. I'm going to try and create as much of a seal as possible so that all of the air that the fan is drawing in, or all, all the air that the actual, all the air that the fan needs to cool down the coil is just going to be drawn from the outside and then vented right out the back. Right now we are reading 48, get up close to it, 40 degrees so far, which doesn't sound like much. When I was testing it earlier, it was about 38, 39, uh, but I mean it's a 5,000 BTU unit. It'll only just take a couple minutes to cool this down and keep it cold. And really, I mean, it's, it's only in case of emergencies. Right now it's getting powered off the uh, inverter that I've got down there through shore power. Uh, but as soon as my inverter generator arrives, I'm going to test it out and see exactly how well that will do to power this unit in case I need it. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to uh, clear some things up for you.